Good morning. This is your morning sip. Whatever you're having this morning, whether it's coffee, tea, apple juice, grapefruit juice, pineapple juice, whatever you're having, please have it with Jesus Christ. Me, I'm having some black cherry this morning. This morning you'll find me coming to you from the book of St. John, chapter 14, reading from verses 1 down through 4. And if I was to choose for a topic this morning, it will be the hope of the promise. The hope of the promise. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would not have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. And the way and where I go, you know, and the way you know. Now, Jesus Christ was with his disciples for quite some time. And so now Jesus Christ is now preparing them for his death and his resurrection. Now, you know, it is it's a difficult thing when you will now become attached to someone. You love them dearly and you know that they are a big part of your, your life. And now, and they're a big part of your everyday function. You, and now this person is telling you they are about to leave. They are about to go. And not only that they're about to go, but they're about to go to a place that is beyond the grave. And you are now struggling with releasing them and letting them go. Jesus Christ was telling his disciples, look here, I have been with you guys, I, but let me tell you, I'm giving you an assurance. I go to prepare a place for you that where I am, there you may be also. And Jesus Christ was reminding them of, of our mortality. Not only that he was letting them know that he was about to go uh, into heaven to prepare a place and to come back to receive them, but he was helping them to remember, to realize that their own mortality, that one day we are going to be absent from this body and present with the Lord. Now, he gave them such an assurance. This is the hope of the promise. The hope of the promise. When Jesus Christ gives you a word, you could rest assured on that, that that word shall and will come to pass. And he was helping his disciples to understand that, look here, I am going to leave you soon. I am going to leave you soon, but I will come again. And when I come again, I am coming back to judge the quick and the dead. And only what is done for Christ will last. Let me say this to you. I don't know what you're going through today. I don't know what is happening in your community, in your family, in your school, in your church, whatever is happening. Not, not nothing um, trouble your heart to the point that you lose, you become fainted hope, you have a fainted hope, and that you lose heart and lose confidence in the word of God. The word of God will never fail. Man will fail you. The arms of flesh will fail you. Yes, they will. They will hurt you. Even in the church at times, you will get hurt. You will be broken. You will be downcast. Even in the workplace, even in your homes, even in your community, the very people that you expect to stand by you will leave you alone. But you have the hope of the promise that Jesus Christ said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He said, I go to prepare a place for you. And where I, where I go, the way you know. Uh, and where I go, you know. And he says, I will come again and I will receive you unto myself. Regardless of what you may be going through today, know that you could put your hope and trust in Christ Jesus. Maybe the day might be just a, be a day of joy. But let's give thanks to God with a grateful heart because of the hope of the promise that he will come again. And that he, he said, where he is, there we will be also. Let's bow our heads in a word of prayer. Gracious and eternal Father God, we just thank you for the hope of the promise. We thank you that if we live right, that heaven will belong to us, O oh God. And Father God, that we will see your face again. Father God, help us to share this good news of the gospel with others. That they can know about this joy, unspeakable joy that we speak about. That we live, that we enjoy every day. Father God, we thank you for every trial. We thank you for every tribulation because we know it will be worth it all. Heaven will surely be worth it all. And so, Father God, we just thank you. I pray for those that are bereaved today, that have lost loved ones, that they cannot understand why they had to go. But, Father God, help them to realize that if they live right, heaven belongs to them. And, Father God, that they will see their loved ones again. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you and we praise you and we exalt you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 
Today, if you love this broadcast, you could share in your WhatsApp group, share it with your family group, share it in your school groups, share it in your church group, share it in your community groups. And you could also tell them they could subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is called Uncle Irv's Morning Sip, which is URV apostrophe S. Go out and share love and help someone to know that Jesus Christ is mighty to save and that he will come again to judge the quick and the dead. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Go out and share love. This is your morning sip. Have a beautiful day.